So what is the NT scan, also known as the nuchal translucency scan? To properly do the nuchal translucency scan, the gestational period must be between 11 to 13 weeks and six days gestation meaning that the crown rump length baby measuring from the top of baby's head to baby's bottom should be between 45 millimeters and 84 millimeters in length. Once that is determined and that your baby is in those range, then the sonographer will go ahead and proceed for the nuchal translucency scan. Your sonographer is gonna look at baby, do the measurements, get the fetal heart rate. They're also gonna make sure that baby has a three vessel cord. They're gonna look at the bladder, the heart, the stomach, they are uh, also going to look at where the placental location is going to be or is. Then they're going to look out to your sides at your ovaries and then the adnexus, which is also out to the sides, right? So after they do that, then they're going to look at the back of baby's neck, aka the nuchal translucency. So they're going to get your baby in this beautiful little neutral profile position right here, as you can see right there. You can see that we have the nasal bone, the nasal tip, the maxilla the midbrain, the little chin there, and then you'll see the little fluid on the back of baby's neck. The little calipers is how they're gonna measure. Now it is very important to make sure that there's not like the slight deviation to where you get the zygomatic process of the maxilla in the picture, which looks like this right there. If you have the zygomatic process in there, that means that you have, there's a slight deviation on how baby's laying. So it is very important to get in that neutral profile position that looks like this. As you can see in this, you can see the nasal bone, the nasal tip, the maxilla, and the little chin there. Then it is very important to make sure that you're not measuring the amnion, that that is actually the skin line. So this right here is a perfect example from the Fetal Medicine Foundation. Measuring this helps determine the risk, helps your doctor determine the risk of any chromosomal abnormalities such as Down syndrome. Usually if the nuchal translucency is thickened, it can be a, a soft, a, what, we, what we call a soft marker of chromosomal abnormality. Doesn't mean there is one. Let me be clear about that. Does not mean there is one, but it typically um, makes us look for other things to determine or to rule out any chromosomal abnormalities. So this is my favorite scan. Um, it's just super easy and fun to get. And also, how could you not love that cute little profile? <laughs> Anyways, I hope this helps sonographers and also give mom a better understanding of what she's going in for when she's getting her nuchal translucency scan. Have a blessed day.